freezing fog, something we don't see often, but something we're seeing this morning, Kylie. Absolutely. We have temperatures in the 20s and 30s this morning, that low laying fog, just, you know, accumulating, freezing over on the cars, the grassy surfaces. So if you are going to be traveling anywhere this morning, give yourself some extra time. It's definitely going to be needed. I know on my morning commute in, it was definitely a rocky start. So if you can start your cars early because they are going to be frosty out there, as you can see, freezing fog advisories across the upstate. These will expire at 10 a.m. It's just because we have all of that moisture just hanging around still, plus temperatures still favoring the 30s for the upstate. Now, it's still dense in some areas, especially, especially the valleys across the mountains, but it's widespread across the upstate this morning. We're under a mile in Anderson, Greenwood, and Newberry, and whenever we're down to about two miles or less, that's when it's really hard to see, especially the car uh, in front of you. So just make sure to go nice and slow and just take it easy this morning. Temperatures across the mountains in the 20s for the upstate, mainly in the 30s. We're at 32 degrees in Anderson. Same thing in Abbeville, 33 in Greenwood, 33 for Greenville, Lawrence, 36 in Newberry, and our friend and Union checking in at 32 degrees. So we have that morning fog, but the good news is we'll be breaking out to the sunshine this afternoon with a high temperature of 57 degrees for the upstate. A little bit cooler, but above where we should be for this time of year in the mountains, 53 degrees for the high temperatures. So as we rate your day on the Carolina Sky Winter today, we are calling it an 8 out of 10. At least today we're back in the green. We're just shy of a perfect 10 because we have that fog this morning and yes, that very chilly start. Now everything's quiet as you can see in Fox Radar and 3D in the upper levels. Of course, we are holding on to those low hanging clouds that fog out there that will lift by the afternoon and we'll see a few clouds filtering on in. But check this out. You see a few pockets of rain popping up for the overnight. That will be a possibility. I think most of us though will be staying dry. And then as we head into the morning hours on Thursday, another morning of fog, so it is going to be another dicey morning commute, but that will lift by the afternoon and then Friday arrives. That's when our next disturbance will roll on in from the northwest. This is going to be bringing the mountains a chance of rain and snow, maybe a few pockets of rain for the upstate. It's not looking like much right now. And on top of that, some cold air is going to usher on in just in time for the weekend. You can see that right here on the seven day forecast. So we will be in the 50s for the rest of this week, dropping into the 40s over the weekend. And then by Martin Luther King Day next week, we are looking at temperatures in the 50s for the mountains, 53 degrees for today, 55 tomorrow, back into the 40s on Friday with a chance of rain and snow.